Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Faraz Ahmad. I am working in the NHS as a clinical fellow. So in this video, we are going to talk about an other important video related to PLEB2, related to UK MLA and yes, this is same man video. I'm not going to tell you the topic of today's video, but I am going to give you a very, very easy scenario. So this type of scenario, this type of topic can come in three to four different ways. A patient is coming from Australia after 24 hour long flight. Uh, a patient is coming after having an operation like total hip replacement or the knee replacement or a patient is coming who is on combined oral contraceptive pills and the presentation of the patient is shortness of breath so how you will treat this patient so please keep in mind you must be having the idea of this topic in your mind but keep in mind this patient could be stable this patient could be unstable so if you are going to admit the patient or if you are going to discharge the patient home depends upon either patient is stable or unstable for example patient is coming with a shortness of breath and patient is tachycardic as well or patient is having history of recent travel patient is having history of replacement of any of the joint or any long surgery or patient is known to have combined oral contraceptive pills ongoing so what you will do you will assess the patient and you will then you will take the oxygen saturation of the patient if oxygen saturation of patient is low what you will do this patient is unstable you can't send any of the patient with low oxygen saturation home any of the case if saturation of oxygen is low definitely you are going to admit the patient but if same patient is coming to you and you have taken the history you have assessed the patient patient is tachycardic patient is short of breath but patient oxygen saturation is okay so what you will do you will give tinzaparin one dose at 175 units per kilogram of the patient and then you can discharge the patient on epixaband 10 milligram bd for 7 to 14 days until patient is going to have the ctpa or the doppler ultrasound of the both of legs so yes today's topic of the video is pulmonary embolism or the DVT so now I am going to take you toward the screen and I will let you know if someone is coming with these symptoms how you will treat so when patient. you will be out of the room a scenario will be pasted out of any of these three scenarios which I have just told you so after reading the scenario when you will go in first of all what you have to do you have to introduce yourself to the examiner like how you can introduce you will say hello examiner my name is Faraz Ahmad and my GMC number is 12345 okay so after informing this to the examiner what you will do your next step is you will go to the, the patient but before going toward the patient you have to tell the examiner you have to safety net you will say examiner assume I have taken all the universal precautions so that's it now you are going toward the patient so after going toward the patient the same man is your patient in your prep to exam in your UKML exam so you will introduce and you will acknowledge the patient so you will say hello it's Ahmed one of the doctors working in this emergency department I can see you are struggling for breathing I'm really sorry about it before going forward can i confirm your full name and date of birth so patient will tell any of the things for example adam and my age or my date of birth is this okay so after that what you will say can you please tell me what exactly happened to you what brought you to the a and e so then patient will tell you story doctor i traveled back last night from australia I had a surgery recently or any of the female patient could tell you the story and in that story patient can tell you like I was using combined oral contraceptive pills okay so after a patient's short story so then you will ask about the shortness of breath when did it start how did it start are you coughing as well are you producing something are you producing blood and sputum with this that is that is very very important question hemoptysis is very very important question of dvt or pulmonary embolism scenario then you will ask about the fever to rule out the infection 
okay then you will ask about medical condition medication allergies shortness of breath could be asthma it could be copd it could be heart failure so you have to ask this question after that you will ask about the surgery definitely patient must have tell you the story of the surgery recently or uh, if patient is not telling you then you can ask about the travel history cocpus or the at the end you will ask about the smoker's cuff so then you will verbalize ideally examiner i would like to put my patient in semi sitting position why because patient is short of breath so after that you will proceed and you will say adam i am going to assess you it will include look feel tab and listen to different parts of your body please be assured examiner is with me and he is acting as a chaperon and we will try to maintain your privacy may i proceed now okay after taking the permission then you will proceed so while proceeding you will look at monitor and you will say i can see my patient is attached to monitor so this is acknowledgement if patient is not attached to monitor you have to attach but in most of the cases patient will be attached to monitor and whatever is coming on the monitor you will verbalize you will quickly comment on the vital i can see my patient blood pressure is this heart rate is this oxygen saturation is this and that okay so then you will start a b c d e approach so first of all in the airway as patient is talking to you then you will say as our adam is talking to me that prove that airway of my patient is patent and i can see on monitor oxygen saturation is low that is 88 percent on room air so i am going to give 100 percent oxygen via non-rebreather mask okay so after that what you will do you will take non-rebreather mask and you will put on the patient face okay and after attaching the oxygen you have to ask how are you feeling now adam okay so now you are done with the airway then you will move on the b so then you will say to patient adam i am going to unbutton your shirt to see your chest it will include look feel i will feel your uh, trachea as well i may tap and listen to your chest so while doing this okay inspection percussion palpation and auscultation in inspection you have to calculate the respiratory rate and you will uh, comment on that i can see my patient respiratory rate is bit high and you have to verbalize uh, my patient uh, respiratory rate is 25 in minute or 30 in a minute okay and after that you will say i am going to request chest x-ray ecg and abg immediately for my patient okay so you have done this then you will move on the c so then you will say adam i am going to pinch your finger i will take your pulse and blood pressure as well so while you will pinch the finger you will check the capillary refill time then you will see on the monitor you will comment again on the blood pressure and the heart rate and you will say i can see my patient blood pressure is bit low and heart rate is bit high my patient is tachycardic then you will verbalize i am going to insert two large bore IV cannulas into your vein adam and i will take blood for the routine investigation including some special investigation and then you will verbalize i will request full blood count functions of your kidneys functions of your liver and i will send the a special test that we called as the d dimer as well and we will check your heart enzymes okay so now you are you must have some idea like what is happening with the patient patient has surgery patient has long flight patient is coming with low saturation heart rate is very very high so something will click in your mind like this could be a pe this could be dvt as well but you have to do d as well you will proceed i would like to check the blood sugar of my patient and then you will assess the pupil you will take temperature okay after doing these you will move on the e part that is very very important so then you will check patient adam i am going to expose your operation side if patient is presenting after the operation if patient is presenting after long flight no need to mention this and then you will say i have to expose your legs as well i will look and feel what you will look you will look for any cough swelling or any redness then you will feel for temperature you will feel pulses and you will feel for any tenderness you will feel for the edema in the calf and the legs and then you have to take diameter of the leg 
10 centimeter below the tibial tuberosity you have to just mention to your examiner i think there is no need to take the diameter bilaterally okay please keep in mind at any point between c to e your examiner can tell you the value of d dimer so if value of the d dimer is high and patient is presenting with these symptoms which i have just mentioned like surgery flight combined oral contraceptive pills coming with the low saturation tachycardic and your examiner is giving you the d dimer very very high so that's confirmed like patient is having uh, venous thromboembolism it could be pe or the dvt so then what you will do after having the d dimer results you will explain the condition and management which you have done you will explain to patient how you will explain adam based on your history of the recent surgery and now being short of breath along with the low oxygen saturation and tachycardia and your well score is also high i am suspecting that you are having clot into your lungs and this condition is called as pulmonary embolism then you will verbalize to patient i have already started you on oxygen okay and i am going to give you an injection into your skin of tinzaparin then you will inform the patient after this injection we will start you on anticoagulant medication called apixaban initially we will give it 10 mg twice a day until you get a specialist review so here is the point if your patient oxygen saturation is normal you will discharge patient on apixaban and you will book the ctpa in few days time and medics will review this patient very shortly through the estic clinic but most of the time your patient oxygen saturation will be low and as i told you in start you can't send any patient with low oxygen saturation home so what you will do i am going to admit you after this to the medical ward and i will involve my senior to see if i am missing something we will do further investigation that is ct scan of your chest and the special name of this ct scan is ctpa then you will safety net the patient and you will advise for the triggers of the disease so guys this is very very simple case of the dvt or pulmonary embolism on the other way if this is going to be a dvt case what will happen presentation could be same but when you will take the diameter of the cuff 10 centimeter below the tibial tuberosity what can happen the diameter will be the difference between the diameter will be more than three centimeter on one side and that side could be swollen on the obvious examination and there could be edema as well this is dvt but if legs are okay patient is presenting with these symptoms this is pulmonary embolism so guys this is very very important case so shortness of breath cases this is another differential and you have to think on the presentation shortness of breath could be asthma could be copd could be heart failure and it could be dvt or pulmonary embolism as well so if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box you can directly message me on instagram please keep watching the video and share it with your friends who are going to appear in plebto exam and uk mla exam Good luck for your exam. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.